Dr. Heather Graven. I'm a lecturer in the physics department here at Imperial College London, and I'm leading a research group studying greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So we're here on the roof of the Huxley building at Imperial College, about 24 meters up, and we're measuring greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide and methane. We're also measuring wind speed and wind direction to try to understand what's driving the variations in the greenhouse gases that we observe. This is our weather station. It includes a wind direction and wind speed sensor, a sensor to measure the temperature and an inlet that is connected to the instrumentation in our laboratory, which allows the air to be measured. So the latest estimate we have is that the UK emits approximately 500 million tonnes of greenhouse gas every year and that figure has been steadily decreasing ever since the early 1990s, mainly due to a decrease in coal consumption in power stations. But recent efforts in reducing greenhouse gas emissions such as the Climate Change Act in 2008 and I'm sure a lot of you have seen the low emission zones in London are aimed at reducing this even further. In our laboratory, methane and carbon dioxide concentrations are measured by a cavity ring down spectrometer. And in this plot, you can see our first measurements. Concentrations during the night go up, and during the day, when the wind speed increases, they go down. So using a sophisticated atmospheric model, the history of the air arriving at our observation site can be traced, and this allows researchers to estimate what regions have emitted the greenhouse gas being observed at our Imperial College London site. And the model works by releasing particles from our observation site and seeing where they go back in time. Here, our model particles are represented by bubbles, and seeing where those bubbles end up gives us an indication of where the air, and hence the greenhouse gases, have originated from. So this shows the air history for a given day at our observation site here at Imperial College London. So coupling observations of greenhouse gases with our atmospheric transport models can allow us to independently verify national emission inventories. This gives the UK government confidence in its emission reports.